just two years ago. The wasteland today stands the building of the future Kigo factory for production. Lithium batteries. The area is more than 160,000 square meters. Total length. Production lines more than two and a half kilometers. The work here is approaching the final stage. Some halls are already preparing for the installation of equipment, for example, the workshop for assembling modules for lithium-ion batteries, from where the finished products will be sent directly to the customer. Three parallel lines of a high degree of automation here, from that edge to the end of the workshop. In these lines, operators deliver and load the components that make up this module and the line robots inside the line. Manipulators assemble this module already during the automatic assembly process. A high degree of automation is a key feature of the future Russian gigafactories. Over 900% of all work will be done by machines, which reduces the human factor. The entire process is under continuous automated control. Laser scanners, X-rays and cameras will monitor more than 25,000 parameters per second. Another important feature of Russian gigafactories is the closed technological chain. Here they will not only assemble batteries, but also build a full cycle, starting with the production of active chemical masses and electrodes. A small pilot production of lithium-ion batteries was previously launched at the Technopolis Moscow site. Here, the automatic assembly of cells on a 60 mm long line involved more than 110 different robots. After all, heat batteries are quite high-tech, complex devices. The heart of this elite battery is the lithium cell. Cell production is the main biggest technological redistribution of our future factories. 80% of the plant area and all infrastructure are sharpened and used for the production of lithium-ion cells. The design utilizes a modular spider-like structure. The chemistry inside this cell is very important. In our case, this is the cathode material NMC811. This suggests that this is a very energy intensive and high current product, which in fact is a requirement of consumers. Domestic batteries with a Russian character that will withstand any weather conditions. The thermostat system allows you to work in any climatic zones of our country and in the southern regions where the air warms up to plus 45 degrees and outside the Arctic Circle, where the thermometer columns drop below minus 40. Each cell takes time to charge in pilot production. This process is called aging. This takes about 12 and 14 days, after which the cells are formed in a module of 12 pieces. You can connect them to each other inside the module in different ways, which allows you to change the voltage. The result for different consumers is exactly the same principle. The modules themselves are combined into batteries for different types of housings and connected to a special control system. This is what a practically assembled battery looks like. It consists of 14 modules with 12 cells in each module. And this is the final stage of assembly. Connecting harnesses to modules, each harness goes to its own balancing. So that the battery works properly, it is necessary that all modules are balanced. Well, that's not all. Then the assembled batteries are sent to the test site to check the software, logic circuits, testing of electrical and power elements according to a special algorithm. Before being shipped, the battery undergoes about 100 different tests over a period of six hours. This is one of the most important stages of production. You have to apply a very high voltage to them to understand that they are safe and then use low currents to discharge as much as possible and charge as much as possible to understand their capacity. These big lockers are set fire for charging and discharging station. The electric bus kit consists of six batteries. As you can see, the control unit which is connected to each other by power cables and logic cables. These batteries will become the heart of the new electric buses.
In Moscow, historical electric transport is the leading mode of transport and the number is growing every year. We have separate programs that the mayor of the city has approved to transition more and more to electric transport. Moscow Transport is the number one consumer in Russia in terms of traction electric batteries. We are now introducing technology, for example, contactless passage of sections for trams, and we are considering the possibility of launching software. The train is also on non-contact rails. This is a passenger transport. For example, the Moskvich plant is one of the largest in Russia. Today, manufacturers of electric cars. Of course, the appearance of the Russian battery will be a huge step forward in terms of the cost of the car as part of its reduction. And in two, tuning the traction batteries to meet the needs of the Moskvich plant. On the streets of St. Petersburg, daily run 200 electric buses with dynamic charging. More than half of them, 60% work on lithium batteries produced by the company Renero, part of the fuel division of Rusatom. The authorities of St. Petersburg plan to expand the park this year by another 100 cars and purchase 10 charging stations. Russian batteries are set to play a significant role in the domestic electric car Atom, a vehicle that has already undergone testing in the extreme conditions of the North Pole. It was necessary to install inside the car a large thrust and a battery of 77 kilowatts. This gives us a range of up to 500 kilometers on one cycle. This is a mixed cycle that is not just the direct cargoes, but with traffic jams, with urban mode on highways and so on. Accordingly, we chose a large traction battery, conducted a number of tests, and it will be installed in our car. But not only the availability of a battery supplier, but also the opportunity to jointly test systems and refine them for production needs. There are plans to increase the power of the electric car, which will require a larger battery. Domestic production of lithium-ion batteries is aimed at various consumers. The platelet battery is actually a platform for the development of many directions. These are the basics of electric mobility. This is the basis for stationary solutions and in principle it permeates the entire ecosystem of modern society and cities. Lithium drives can stand at traffic lights in restorations in mobile pavilions. They can power both the country's large power systems, smoothing peak voltage surges and simply be attraction performance and pull any type of transport. Today, lithium batteries are already used to provide festival sites and mobile power points. They are also used to power private homes as a backup source and not only. This enclosure serves as a reliable backup power supply for data centers that can be deployed efficiently. Be a source of grain food in the oil field itself, a wide range of applications in energy facilities and so on. At the same time, Rosatom, even before the opening of the gigafactories, the issue of recycling of expired lithium-ion batteries has also already been resolved. Within the framework of the National Environmental Wellbeing Project, an institute for accounting of consumers of such batteries has been created using a single digital platform. Used batteries transferred to the federal operator will enter a controlled closed-loop system for processing. We are creating one of these facilities today in the Nijeni Novgorod region. It will specialize in the recycling of lithium batteries. It is planned that this within the framework of already modern automated capacities will allow to safely disarm such. After all, it is a source and in the process of processing we receive valuable components from there heavy metals, lead, copper, and let them be reused, then recycled. Gigo Fabric in New Moscow, as well as in it, will cover the full cycle of technological manufacturing of lithium batteries from the production of active chemical masses and electrodes to final assembly, and will become the largest enterprise of this profile in the country. A plant with a production capacity of 4 gigawatt hours per year is being built here in September. Mass production will be launched in a year. Through these halls will stretch a real technological highway on which batteries will be collected continuously. Soon more than 150 pieces of high-tech equipment will be installed here. The plant, producing 50,000 traction batteries per year, 
will be able to meet not only the needs of Moscow and the Moscow region, but also the entire central federal district. I am sure that the plant has an excellent future and the Moscow government will do everything to ensure that this project develops. Serial production of lithium-ion batteries at gigafactories in Demony and Moscow will begin next year. The total capacity of both enterprises will be 8 gigawatt hours. That's enough to power more than 500,000 households per year or charge nearly 100,000 electric vehicles.